we are asked to evaluate this value d by dx of sin squared cot inverse of 1 by root of 1 plus x divided by say 1 minus x. Now let us put x equal to say cos theta. For the sake of brevity, I will take this and simplify separately. 1 plus cos theta square root is there. 1 minus cos theta square root. This will be 2 cos square theta by 2. This will be 2 sin square theta by 2. 2 and 2 will get cancelled. Cos theta by 2 by sin theta by 2. That is equal to cot theta by 2. So this will be equal to say d by dx of say sin squared cot inverse of 1 by say cot theta by 2 and this is equal to d by dx of say sin squared cot inverse of tan theta by 2 and that is d by dx of sin squared cot inverse of cot pi by 2 minus theta by 2 that is d by dx of sin squared this is pi by 2 minus theta by 2 cot inverse of cot pi by 2 minus theta by 2 and that is d by dx of sin pi by 2 minus theta by 2 that is cos theta by 2 that is cos squared theta by 2 or that is d by dx of 1 plus cos theta divided by 2 that is 1 by 2 d by dx of 1 plus cos theta is equal to x there therefore 1 by 2 this is 0 that is 1 that is equal to say 1 by 2 or in other words choice 3 is correct just a word about this unless you substitute this problem becomes very complicated and difficult also now who will suggest and what to substitute for what whenever you are having 1 plus cos theta 1 plus x 1 minus x within the square root whether it occurs in the differentiation or in the integration you put always x equal to say cos theta because 1 plus x will be 2 cos square theta by 2 1 minus x will be equal to 2 sin square theta by 2 the square also will get cancelled with the square root and 2 and 2 will get cancelled you get the whole function to be simplified and then you, with a little manipulation you can just bring it into the simplest form but if you start the differentiating as it is I don't think you will reach the answer so easily.